Massive super volcano. Massive super volcano. The super volcano at Yellowstone National Park erupted. Its debris could cover the entire United States from coast to coast. USA shuts down Yellowstone National Park after sudden supervolcano activity detected. A quiet morning turns deadly serious. The morning began like any other in Yellowstone National Park. Tourists were out early, cameras ready to capture the rising steam from geysers, the colorful hot springs, and the roaming bison across the valleys. Few suspected that beneath the ground, the earth was stirring in ways that could change history. At 6.43 a.m., a swarm of earthquakes jolted the region, nearly 80 tremors in under 40 minutes. Many were too small to be felt, but sensitive instruments at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, picked up everyone. By the time visitors noticed subtle ripples across the surface of Yellowstone Lake, the scientists already knew something extraordinary was happening. What they found was alarming. The ground beneath the caldera had risen nearly six inches in less than 48 hours, a rate not seen in modern history. Pressure was building at an unprecedented pace. The first signs of disturbance. It started with the geysers. Steamboat geyser, already the tallest active geyser on Earth, suddenly erupted with more force than usual, sending scalding water and steam hundreds of feet into the air. Tourists nearby gasped and filmed the spectacle, unaware they were watching the earth vent its pressure in desperation. Soon, other geysers joined in. Old Faithful erupted not on its predictable schedule, but erratically, every 30 minutes instead of every 90. Hot springs turned murkier, their once vibrant blue waters clouded by sulfur and gas. Rangers began to notice wildlife fleeing, herds of elk moving quickly out of valleys, bison running uphill, birds abandoning nesting grounds. Nature itself was sounding the alarm. Attention, attention. This is an emergency message. Yellowstone National Park employees and guests, residents of the surrounding area. This is an official emergency message from the Federal Center. Emergency meetings and escalation. By midday, the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, the National Park Service and FEMA convened an emergency meeting. Seismic data, GPS measurements, and satellite thermal imagery painted a disturbing picture. A massive surge in magma movement beneath the northern section of the caldera. Unusual hydrothermal explosions, some powerful enough to shatter small rocks and send boiling water several meters high. Gas emissions tripling in volume, with dangerous levels of carbon dioxide venting into low-lying areas. The message was clear, Yellowstone wasn't erupting yet. But the system was under extreme stress.
The decision was made swiftly. Yellowstone National Park would be shut down indefinitely. The evacuation park rangers immediately began clearing out visitors. Sirens echoed across campgrounds as helicopters flew overhead, broadcasting warnings through loudspeakers. Attention! Yellowstone National Park is closed. Please proceed calmly to the nearest exit. Tourists scrambled, some confused, some panicked. Families abandoned tents. RVs pulled out in long lines. Hand traffic jams formed along the Grand Loop Road. Those who resisted were escorted by rangers. Meanwhile, towns on the edge of the park, Gardner, Cody, West Yellowstone, and Jackson were put on evacuation standby. Gas stations filled with cars, shelves at stores were cleared of food and water, and residents listened anxiously to radio updates. The Public Reacts news broke nationally within minutes. Headlines spread across major networks and social media platforms lit up. Supervolcano awakens. Yellowstone closed for the first time in decades over eruption fears. Scientists say pressure building beneath Caldera at record speed. Panic spread online. Some users posted dramatic videos claiming the eruption had already begun. Others spread conspiracy theories that the government was hiding the truth. Within hours, Young Yellowstone became the number one trending topic worldwide. Stock markets felt tremors of their own, with tourism, agriculture and airline shares dipping sharply. Inside the science, volcanologists worked around the clock analyzing the unfolding crisis. Their findings were both fascinating and terrifying,